Hazel eyes are rare, about 5% of humanity carries them. But where they appear is not random. They cluster where continents meet and peoples mix, creating invisible maps of ancient migrations written in the language of light and DNA. Tonight, we're going to decode a color that isn't really a color at all. A genetic phenomenon so complex that it breaks the rules of inheritance. So beautiful that poets have written about it for centuries, and so mysterious that scientists are still discovering how it works. What you're about to learn will change how you see, not just eyes, but the entire story of human movement across our planet. Because hazel eyes aren't just about genetics, they're about geography, climate, evolution, and the surprising ways our ancestors' journeys are still visible in a single glance. This is the genetic truth behind the most enigmatic eye color on Earth. Here's a question that will blow your mind. What if the color you see in hazel eyes doesn't actually exist? Look closely at a hazel eye and you'll notice something impossible. The color seems to shift and change depending on the light, the angle, even the person's mood. One moment it appears golden brown, the next it flashes green, then amber, sometimes with flecks that seem to dance around the pupil. This isn't your imagination. You're witnessing one of nature's most sophisticated optical illusions in real time. Here's the secret. Hazel eyes don't contain green pigment. They don't contain gold pigment. The colors you're seeing are created by the same physics that makes the sky blue and peacock feathers iridescent, something called Rayleigh scattering. Think of it this way. Inside every hazel iris, there are two types of melanin working together. Eumelanin creates browns and blacks, while pheomelanin produces reds and golds. But the magic happens in the spaces between these pigments, where light bounces and scatters, creating colors that exist only in the eye of the beholder. There are generally two types of hazel eyes, those with green as the dominant color, and those with brown as the base. The difference isn't just cosmetic. It's a genetic fingerprint that tells us about your ancestral journey. But here's where the story gets truly fascinating. The amount and distribution of these pigments isn't random. It follows patterns that map directly onto human migration routes dating back thousands of years. Why do hazel eyes seem to run in families yet appear in children whose parents both have brown eyes. The answer lies in a genetic orchestra so complex, it rewrites everything you learned about inheritance in school. Forget simple dominant and recessive genes. Hazel eye color is controlled by at least 16 different genes, working together like musicians in a symphony. The HERC-2 gene acts as the conductor, while OCA2 plays lead violin but dozens of other genetic instruments contribute to the final performance. This is why hazel eyes defy Mendel's laws. A brown-eyed father and blue-eyed mother can absolutely have a hazel-eyed child, because the genes for eye color don't follow the simple patterns we learned in biology class. But here's where the story takes an unexpected turn. A groundbreaking 2015 study from Kangra, India, looked at family trees and found something remarkable climate might actually influence the expression of the genes for eye color. Think about that for a moment. Your environment, the temperature, humidity, and light patterns of where your ancestors lived might have literally shaped the color of your eyes. This discovery led researchers to propose the Goldilocks zone theory of hazel eyes. These intermediate melanin levels seem to thrive in geographical middle grounds, not too far north where blue eyes dominate not too close to the equator, where dark brown eyes are essential for sun protection. Hazel eyes represent a genetic sweet spot, perfectly adapted for temperate climates and mixed populations. But why do these mixed populations cluster in specific places around the world? Can you tell the difference between hazel and amber eyes? Most people can't. And the confusion reveals something crucial about how we categorize the uncategorizable. Amber eyes are uniform, a solid, honey-golden color 
throughout the iris, like polished gemstones. Hazel eyes are rebels. They refuse to be one color, instead creating a burst of warm tones near the pupil that gradually shifts to cooler hues toward the outer edge. They're the chameleons of eye color. Here's a test you can try right now. If you have hazel eyes, stand in natural light, wearing a plain white shirt, and look in a mirror. The neutral color removes reflections and reveals the true complexity hidden in your iris. You'll see rings, flecks, and gradients that create a unique pattern as individual as your fingerprint. But hazel eyes have another superpower that explains their mystique throughout history. They appear to change color based on emotion. When you're attracted to someone, excited, or even angry, your pupils dilate. This changes the ratio of dark pupil to colored iris, making the remaining visible color appear more intense and vibrant. It's like having mood rings built into your face. This emotional responsiveness isn't just poetic. It's measurable, documented, and explains why hazel eyes have been associated with passion and mystery across cultures for millennia. But where did this enchanting eye color actually come from? The name Hazel was first recorded in 1690s, named after the beautiful, multi-tonal color of the hazelnut. But the genetic story written in those colors is far older and more dramatic than anyone imagined. While only 5% of the world has hazel eyes, some places are true hotspots. A 29 study found that a staggering 55.2% of people in certain regions of Spain have hazel green eyes that's not a coincidence, it's a genetic archaeological site. These regions, Iberia, Anatolia, parts of North Africa, the Caucasus, share something crucial. They're crossroads, places where different populations met and created new combinations of genetic traits over thousands of years. Imagine Spain during the medieval period. Celtic tribes from the north, Roman colonizers from the east, Moorish peoples from Africa, Sephardic Jewish communities, and indigenous Iberian populations all contributing to a genetic melting pot. Each group brought different eye color genes, and their mixing created the perfect conditions for hazel eyes to flourish. The same pattern appears wherever ancient trade routes crossed. The Silk Road through Central Asia, the Mediterranean coastlines, the river valleys of Anatolia, all regions where merchants, armies, and migrants created the genetic diversity that produces hazel eyes. But here's the truly remarkable part. We can trace specific hazel eye variants to particular migration events. Some types correlate with Neolithic farmer expansions from the Middle East. Others match Celtic movements across Europe. Still others follow Islamic conquests across North Africa and into Iberia. Your hazel eyes aren't just beautiful, they're a genetic passport documenting your ancestors' journeys across continents and centuries. Why have hazel eyes fascinated human cultures for thousands of years? The answer lies in how rarity creates meaning. Celtic mythology described hazel trees as sources of wisdom, their nuts containing all knowledge of the world. People with hazel eyes were believed to carry this same wisdom, able to see truths hidden from others. The connection wasn't accidental. Hazel eyes and Celtic populations often coincided in the same regions of Western Europe. Romans took a different approach. They saw hazel eyes as symbols of complex personality, both fierce and tender, passionate yet thoughtful. Roman poets wrote extensively about the mesmerizing quality of eyes that seem to hold multiple souls. In Arabic poetry, hazel eyes earned the beautiful phrase an sahalia, honeyed eyes. The metaphor captured something essential, like honey. Hazel eyes seem to flow and change, sweet yet complex, golden yet mysterious. Ancient folklore across multiple cultures attributed supernatural powers to hazel eyes. They were said to ward off evil spirits, see into the future, or even cast spells. While we now understand these beliefs as superstition, they reflect something real. Humans have always recognized that hazel eyes are genuinely unusual. 
This cultural fascination points to a deeper evolutionary truth. Throughout human history, we've been drawn to rarity. We value gold, diamonds, and fine art precisely because they're scarce. The same principle likely applied to our ancestors. A rare and beautiful eye color would have been incredibly attractive, conferring reproductive advantages that help spread the genes responsible. But this raises a disturbing question. If hazel eyes were so attractive, why didn't they become more common? Here's where our story takes a scientific detective turn. If hazel eyes were attractive and successful, basic evolution suggests they should have spread widely. Instead, they remain rare and geographically clustered. Why? The answer reveals one of evolution's most sophisticated balancing acts. Theory 1. Environmental Optimization Hazel eyes represent a Goldilocks zone adaptation, perfect for specific climates but disadvantageous elsewhere. Too much sun exposure can damage the intermediate melanin levels that create hazel coloration. Too little light makes the color advantages disappear. This explains why hazel eyes cluster in temperate regions with moderate sun exposure. They're literally adapted to specific latitudes and climates, which keeps them geographically constrained. But theory two is even more intriguing. Frequency-dependent selection. This is evolution's way of maintaining genetic diversity by making rare traits more attractive than common ones. Imagine ancestral populations where most people had brown eyes. A person with hazel eyes would stand out dramatically, attracting more romantic attention and having more children. But as hazel eyes became more common, they'd lose their rarity advantage. Eventually, an equilibrium emerges, where hazel eyes remain uncommon enough to be special, but not so rare, they disappear entirely. This mechanism explains why certain populations maintain stable percentages of hazel eyes over thousands of years. It's not random, it's evolution actively preserving genetic diversity through sexual selection. Recent genetic studies have identified specific DNA variants that increase hazel eye attractiveness ratings across cultures, suggesting this preference is partially hardwired into human psychology. But there's one more twist to this evolutionary story that changes everything. Remember that 2015 study from India that found climate influences eye color expression? The implications are staggering and largely overlooked. Temperature and humidity don't just affect which eye color genes get activated, they can actually alter melanin production during development. Children born in certain climates may express different eye colors than their identical genetics would produce elsewhere. This means hazel eyes aren't just inherited, they're also influenced by geography in real time. Your ancestors' eye colors might have literally changed as they migrated to new environments. Climate change throughout human history created waves of eye color transformation. The medieval warm period saw populations expand into new regions, mixing eye color genes in unprecedented ways. The little ice age that followed may have shifted the optimal zones for different eye colors. Modern climate patterns continue to influence these genetic expressions. Children of hazel-eyed parents born at different latitudes show measurable differences in iris pigmentation, even with identical DNA. This discovery revolutionizes our understanding of human adaptation. We're not just inheriting fixed traits from our ancestors, we're inheriting genetic flexibility that responds to environmental conditions. Your hazel eyes might be documenting not just where your ancestors traveled, but the climates they encountered along the way. But this environmental sensitivity reveals something even more profound about the future of human eye color. In our interconnected world, something unprecedented is happening to hazel eye genetics. They're simultaneously spreading and concentrating in ways that would have been impossible throughout most of human history. Global migration is creating new genetic combinations at an accelerated pace. Children with one hazel-eyed parent from Spain and another from Morocco 
or combinations between Northern European and Middle Eastern hazel variants, are producing eye colors that have never existed before. At the same time, genetic testing is revealing that many people who thought they had brown or green eyes actually carry hazel variants that were previously unrecognized. High-resolution iris photography shows complex patterns invisible to casual observation. Urban populations show higher rates of hazel eye expression than rural ones, possibly due to the mixing of diverse genetic backgrounds and altered light exposure patterns from city living. But here's the paradox. While genetic mixing increases hazel eye possibilities, modern lifestyle changes may be reducing the environmental conditions that optimize their expression. Increased indoor time, artificial lighting, and climate-controlled environments might be dampening the very climate influences that shaped hazel eyes over millennia. Researchers are beginning to track whether hazel eye characteristics are shifting in real time as human environments change. Early data suggests that urbanization and global warming may be creating new selective pressures on eye color genes. The story of hazel eyes isn't just about the past, it's actively being rewritten by our modern world. Your hazel eyes aren't just a beautiful accident of genetics. They're a living laboratory documenting thousands of years of human history, migration, and adaptation. Every time you look in the mirror, you're seeing the result of countless ancestral journeys. Farmers walking out of the Middle East 10,000 years ago, Celtic tribes spreading across Europe, Islamic scholars crossing into Spain, merchants traveling ancient trade routes, and countless love stories between people from different populations. The specific pattern of colors in your iris, the way brown blends into green, how gold flecks around your pupil, where the darker and lighter areas fall, creates a unique genetic signature that connects you to specific historical movements and geographical regions. Scientists are now developing technologies to read these iris patterns like genetic fingerprints, potentially able to trace your ancestral migrations with unprecedented precision just by analyzing the color patterns in your eyes. But perhaps most remarkably, your hazel eyes are still changing. The melanin distribution that creates their colors continues to evolve slightly throughout your lifetime, responding to environmental factors, hormonal changes, and even life experiences in ways we're only beginning to understand. You're not just carrying the legacy of ancient human migrations, you're actively participating in the ongoing evolution of human eye color. And here's the final beautiful truth about hazel eyes. Compared to blue and green eyes, scientists admit there's still so much we don't know. The full story of hazel eye genetics is still being decoded, new discoveries emerging every year. They remain one of nature's most elegant mysteries, a conversation between physics and genetics, between ancient history and modern science, between the journeys of our ancestors and the ongoing adventure of human evolution. Hazel eyes are living proof that the most beautiful things in nature are rarely simple. They're mosaics of our shared past, visible in a single glance and reminders that human diversity isn't just skin deep, it's written in the very colors that reflect our souls to the world. Thanks for watching.